it's just a white one. Okay, so we got to our hotel, and um, our driver kind of just dropped us off, and that's it. We don't have much of a, we don't really know what's happening. Hi. So we will find out what's happening, but I will uh, let you know. Well, as you can see, I am not on the boat. My hair looks crazy because I've been in the car for the last hour, well, hour and a half. I tested positive at the terminal to get on the boat for a semester at sea, and tomorrow morning the boat is going to leave without me on it. There is about four, three other girls with me in this quarantine. I don't know if anyone else got quarantined at the terminal, but 
right now it's just the four of us, so we're going to pray, but I was hopeful. I took two PCR tests. Um, they both came back negative, and knowing the difference between a PCR test and a rapid antigen test, I felt... I felt confident that I would be fine and I've only had a stuffy nose, but I've had a stuffy nose for the past month, I think. And my PCR test came back negative. I made it to the terminal at my 11.30 check-in time and I got my bags checked. I got my tickets on my bags. They even gave me my name tag with my C and I was so, like this was it. This I just my name in some insert C, and I was I'm in the Baltic Sea, and then I went upstairs to the COVID testing. There was a mix up. They called my name, but it didn't sound like my name. And some other guy went up. He left to take a left, which was the quarantine hallway, and then he came back, and they called my name, and I got positive. I have never had COVID and I've never tested positive on a COVID test and of course now is today's the day it happened so <sighs> kind of sucks but I was in the quarantine room for four hours I think three to four hours out of all the positions I could be in I think this is the best because Semester at Sea is taking care of me and there were some kids who were close contacted and they had already gotten on the boat. And then Semester at Sea took them off of the boat afterwards. So there's a few kids that crossed the threshold and did all of those things and they were home and then they had to be put into quarantine. So hopefully I'll meet the boat in Greece and then because it'll be out of my system by then, hopefully. <laughs> then I'll have the rest of the voyage to be good and healthy and safe and protected, all of those fun things. But I have been crying so much today. My eyes look so dark, but I'll get through it and it's fine. And I'm not the only one. And that's what I just have to keep reminding myself. There's been a few good things. I've laughed a few times today, so it's not all completely depressing. I met some awesome people and I'm not the only one in this and I just have to keep reminding myself that I couldn't do anything. I did, I took all the precautions I could and COVID still got me, so. I can't beat myself up about it. I can't blame anyone. There is no one to blame. It's just what's happening in the world in a sucky situation, but <sighs> it's still hard. So we are in our hotel. It was kind of sketchy too because our driver dropped us off and then he just left. <laughs> so we were driving and it's a really weird location. I don't, I have no clue where I am at all. If when I put a location down, I'll probably just put middle of nowhere because I'm in the middle of nowhere. No clue what's happening. Um, but the driver pulled up, we got our bags out of the car and then once every all the doors were closed again he looked at us and then he waved and i was like okay uh bye and there was like it's like a gated area and there was people in an office and i'm like do i go in do i not go in i can't go in i shouldn't go in because i supposedly have covid but i don't know <laughs> so we uh we waited and they came out and then they just brought us to our room, so it was just very, very odd. But apparently dinner is coming in about 20 minutes. I hope it's good. I need some good food. I need to come for food. I'm going to put on a sweatshirt. I'm going to watch a show. I'm going to call my family, talk to my friends, and let them know that as of right now, I'm relative. I'm physically, I'm okay. Emotionally, I'm healing. So just wanted to put that out there make this video and I will hopefully I'll see the ship soon in just one more week hopefully a little bit over a week I'll be back on the ship next Wednesday and then as soon it will hopefully COVID will be out of my system and I'll be fine for the rest of the voyage so fingers crossed 
Food is here. Okay. Now, is this food good? That's the real question. Oh, it better be good food. If it's not good food, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Oh, is this cake or bread or? Yeah, I think I get some bread. I have no clue. I have no clue what the food is. Hopefully, it's good. There's um. Let's see. What is this? Just rice. I have no clue what that is. It's like a rice thing. I think this might be fish. Oh, frick. I hate fish. First meal here, and it's um something I don't even eat. Fantastic. Absolutely fan freaking fantastic. Now let's text the hotel quarantine. That's fun. I just said Sorry I didn't inform you, I forgot about this, but I don't eat fish, and um, I also didn't get any silver in my meal, so maybe I won't eat dinner tonight. We'll see. I'll have some bread. Fantastic. God. <laughs> this is great. We're going to love quarantining here. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. Right now I'm editing my traveling to Italy video and also I'm editing my finding out I'm in quarantine video and I can't get on the boat embarkation day <laughs> which is this video right now and I'm seeing how long it is so I think I'm just gonna end it here maybe I'll do a quarantine video to document this whole adventure but we shall see um thank you for watching like subscribe wish me luck to get on the boat and hopefully Hopefully I'll see the boat in January, ideally in less than 12 days. I want to be on the boat and meet people and start school and get things moving. So, yeah, I guess that's it and uh, I'll see you next time.